We're gathered here at the University of Birmingham for the Constructing a Digital Environment 2022 conference, uh, which is part of NERC's program about constructing a digital environment. We have a very interesting agenda, which is all about bringing digital and data sciences to the environmental sciences. So lots of activities about that throughout the, the next couple of days, including a hackathon, We've got various masterclasses, we've got oral presentations, some excellent keynote speakers and all sorts of exhibitions and posters. So it's going to be an exciting couple of days. NERC is the Natural Environment Research Council, so it's where a lot of earth scientists get their funding from. Today is bringing together everyone who's been involved in this kind of NERC-funded program over the past few years. Attending the conference, we've got a whole variety of scientists who are doing all sorts of things uh, in this kind of environment and digital realm. Um, so I'm really excited to be here to actually get to talk to them in person and find out what they're doing and how it interacts with what I'm doing as part of the scheme. I think it's a great opportunity to showcase the work of the programme. We have well over 200 people attending both physically and, and virtually from a wide array of different academic institutions but also uh, national centres. It's really all about trying to bring some of these uh, very exciting techniques from data science and digital techniques artificial intelligence, machine learning, and apply them to environmental science. So we have a series of fantastic speeches, talks, exhibitions, demonstrations, where these techniques can be used to really try to advance our understanding of the environment. Traditionally, as scientists, we tend to work quite in quite a siloed way, and there's, there's a recognition that we've got to work in a, in a much more multidisciplinary way, and we've got to work across uh, thematic. So I'm an oceanographer, but there are people here from the terrestrial uh, environment, there are people from the atmospheric environment. Uh, we're already pretty good at working across those science themes, but increasingly we've also looked into work across uh, uh, the, sort of the digital uh, capabilities of engineers. So as scientists, we tend not to have that much interaction with engineers historically, um, but this is this sort of program brings together people from lots of different backgrounds. In the poster session outside, I've seen some really interesting posters already. So I'm really interested in rainfall data because it's absolutely critical to flooding. And um, so there's been uh, a poster out there which is looking at uh, getting better measurements for the rainfall that actually hits the ground under tree canopies. So you get a lot less water hitting the ground because trees are intercepting it. So I'm going to go have a look in more detail. Like that. One of the things we're doing is the hackathon and of course this allows people to try to find ways of communicating the wide variety of data sets held by the Natural Environment Research Council and other environmental um, custodians of data and bringing art uh, into that science. Hackathon is kind of interesting experience for everyone so we just to try to put people together from different background and from different uh, institutions and to come to here to brainstorm some new ideas. The idea is trying to use this opportunity to develop something we normally we don't have time to, to develop ourselves, something more beyond the science to inspire people or to uh, move people's heart and to change their uh, perception of using a different format than normally we'll see in the science. In academia, it's very easy to be in your own little bubble, working with people, researching in very similar areas. So a hackathon brings people together from a, a wide variety of backgrounds. And you'll get presented ideas which you probably, probably more likely wouldn't have thought of yourself. Just hearing um, a couple of guys talking about what they want to do with their work so far, and like this maybe like in the first hour, it's made me think about ways that I can uh, apply some of my research background into other areas. So this is an incomplete picture. Uh, it's the name of this piece that I created for the Constructing a Digital Environment Art Science Hackathon. It explores uncertainty and data gaps in species trends. When we look at these analyses of trends, we're really only reporting on a subset of biodiversity that is being monitored and being measured. And of those that are being monitored and measured, there's actually a lot of variation in the precision um, of those trends. This piece is trying to explore those uncertainties and data gaps in this trends data. When a species was very confident, the engraving line was very confident. And when the trend estimation for a species was uh, uncertain, the line became broken and hard to read. I use those 
uh, cuts to represent uh, the space, the gaps in the data uh, that we have. And I think all in all create this, yeah, really nice visual of this incomplete picture, which is broken in half. Climate change is a huge problem that affects pretty much everything. And um, so we've really got to start working together if we're actually going to come up with proper solutions to these issues. So having everyone here in the same place is incredible because you can have uh, hydrologists and coastal scientists and marine scientists and atmospheric scientists all talking to each other and trying to get to the root of the same problem. I'm really hoping to raise awareness um, of what, what we've been delivering over the last three years, but also to look forwards in terms of maintaining engagement with those individuals having peer-to-peer -peer conversations about some of the work that's being delivered and focusing on how to deliver the strategy going forwards.